we're live. Yes, we are. Maybe. Who are we? We're Shaman. We're Yolanda. <laughs> you're, you're Shaman. <laughs> I'm Shaman. You're Yolanda. I'm Yolanda. We are the Connected Relationship. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. We've been talking about, we have an ongoing theme the past couple of weeks, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is couples coaching? How do you find a coach? Mm -hmm. And today we're going to talk about the difference between coaching and therapy. Right, because there's some similarities. You know, they're kind of. Mm -hmm. I think you 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 had said to me they're kind of like step siblings or something like that. Something like so that. I don't know the exact language she used, but it was, <laughs> that was something. A... Oh, it's like you know, stepchildren, <laughs> but not <laughs> bad stepchildren or step siblings or I don't know what it was. I don't. I don't even know. They're in the same. They're in a similar family, right? Right, they are in a similar they're... family. And it, it, there is um, kind of a, it's not entirely black and white. There's a lot of gray area around coaching and therapy. And, and a lot of times people use the, the words and, and stuff interchangeably. Right. Um, and basically the biggest difference is that on the therapy side of things, um, there is much more formal training. Mm -hmm and a lot more regulation um, by the state. A therapist has to be right. um, acknowledged as a licensed you know, person by the state and the state monitors that and stuff. On the coaching side of things, um, it's kind of like the wild, wild west out right. there. Right. <laughs> Not as regulated. But our, I mean, our training allows us to do either. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our form, form, for, formal, oh, former, uh, former, 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 formal training. Um, allows us, I mean, we could um, call ourselves therapists and, you know, we do own a therapy practice and I I'm, am a therapist. Right, we, um, we do a lot of therapy here. <laughs> but as far as our, the work that we are doing together. Together, yes, and together, seeing couples, right. We were very intentional about deciding on the coaching side of things. Right. Uh, because it does give us um, some freedom Primarily for us to start working with couples before things become a big problem. I, right. Kind of generally speaking, a difference between therapy and coaching is that um, coaching tends to be a little bit more preventative. Mm -hmm. um, therapy has come from more of a medical model where things have to be a big problem. There's the, the thought that things have to be a big right. problem. Right, until we have big symptoms, mm -hmm. we don't come in and seek help. Mm -hmm. And then unfortunately, yeah. by the time you have big symptoms, mm -hmm. you're like seconds away from divorce. Well, things are, things are a lot harder right. uh, to kind of bring out of that. So, right. you know, we definitely see that in the, in the therapy practice that we own. And in seeing that, the conversation that you and I have had is like, we want to reach couples before they get to this crisis state. Right. Couples right. who recognize wow, we really want to fine tune and hone um, the skills for our relationship so that right. we can have maybe better relationships than what we saw growing up mm -hmm. or, you know, that, than we've had in our past. Mm -hmm. um, so really to be able to help couples on that side of things. Um, coaching allows us to work with couples together. That doesn't really happen. Right, which is a big thing world. for us. Yeah. And there's just something special about couple helping another, another couple, couple um, right. that doesn't really happen with therapy. Right. That's not your normal therapy model, mm -hmm. which for mm -hmm. us, it works well under coaching. And, you mm -hmm. know, we can incorporate a lot more play, a lot more fun, a lot more mm -hmm. um, representation of, of multiple sides of the relationship and that kind of thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The play thing has been, I think, one of the things that we've recognized um, that has allowed a deeper connection right. in our relationship. Absolutely. So helping others to just rekindle that play. Right. Because right? that's something us, we lose really quick in our relationship. It's so easy. I mean, it right. just like goes out the window. Life starts to set in and you're like, oh, here mm -hmm. we go. Let's grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately. So those were the, like the specific intentions behind us deciding to serve couples from a coaching perspective. Right. Right. I mean, so while they're very similar, coaching and therapy, mm -hmm. for us, it's, you know, in our therapy practice, we definitely see that gap. Mm -hmm. And this is our attempt to kind of correct that gap, you know, yeah. where, hey, we can, we can take a good relationship and we can make it really, really good. Right, right. You know? And we can take the combination of like our clinical training and expertise mm -hmm. and blend that with 
our 30 plus years of relationship right. experience that, that we have um, we have in our relationship. Absolutely. So that's what we do. Right. So you can book a free consult. Yeah. We've been talking about that last few videos we've done. We, yeah. We talked about what questions to ask, I think, last week, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, today a little bit about what's the difference between coaching and therapy. Yeah. And, and what you're looking for for your relationship. And so. if you have questions mm -hmm. about, more questions about the, uh, coaching that we didn't answer or questions about how coaching can help your specific relationship. Absolutely. Um, you can schedule a free consultation. We'd be happy to have that conversation with you. Easy to do. Follow the link on the video. Click the little linky button. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.